Now let's categorize the x variables into either predictive or non-predictive. To do that, we need to look and see what our f is for our reject rule for our h sub 0. And we start or get that by using the parcel, which to find the parcel f, we need to look up 1 and n minus p on our ANOVA table. And the n and p, let's describe what those are real quick. N is the number of observations we have, and in this uh, sample we have seven. P is the number of variables we have, which is three. So that's B sub zero, B sub one, and B sub two. So N is seven, P is three. So to get our reject rule for F, for our predictive or non-predictive, we need to look up one and N minus P, N being seven, P being three, seven minus three is four. So we look up 1 comma 4, here's 1, and then we go down 4, which is 7.7. .7. Now for our reject rule, we just plug in 7.7. .7. So we can look at our parcel that we had from our regression, the end of a table, and we can see that both the x1 and x2 are definitely greater than 7.7, uh, .7, so they are both predictive. So x1 and x2 are both predictive. Now if x2 was, let's say, 2.4, then it would not have been greater than 7.7, .7, so we would have put it in the non-predictive category. But since it was greater than 7.7, .7, they're both predictive. Now we can use the simple f to determine, to further subcategorize both of these into either directly related or synergistic. We can't compare that though with this, uh, what we'll look up. We have to plug it in and get an LSV. So let's start by getting our simple F. So we'll look up 1 and N minus 2, N being 7, so 7 minus 2 is 5. So we'll look up 1 comma 5, and that gives us 6.6. .6. So now we've looked up for our simple, we have 6.6, .6 and we need to plug it into this LSV formula which is equal to the square root of the F.05 uh, which we looked up for the simple which was 6.6 .6, divided by and then open parentheses and we're going to take this F05 again which is 6.6 .6 plus n minus 2 n being 7 so 7 minus 2 is 5 so plus 5 two close parentheses and then enter. So our LSV uh, for our comparison in our correlation matrix is 0 0.75. We can see that the X1 is less than 0 0.75 so that makes it synergistic. And also for X2 it's also less than 0 0.75 so it's also synergistic. If this correlation matrix had the x2 greater than um, 0 0.75, then we would have called it directly related. So that is how you further determine whether they are predictive and non-predictive, and then subcategorize them into directly related, synergistic, multicollinear, or unrelated.